Hello everyone. Welcome to our studio today. So glad you could join us. We're going to start a very, very special project. For a long, long time I've been wanting to paint a portrait. Uh, well, I do a lot of portraits, different things, but this is a portrait of Jesus. And I just wanted a portrait. I didn't want him actually doing a whole lot. But I came to the scripture, uh, John uh, eleven thirty five, where he visited Lazarus' tomb, and he raised Lazarus from the dead. But when he got there, Mary and Martha, uh, his uh, Lazarus' sisters, were really upset and, you know, crying over his death. And Lazarus had been buried four days. And uh, Jesus saw that they were very sad, so it, the only scripture in the Bible, probably the shortest verse in the Bible, is Jesus wept. And that's the shortest verse in the Bible, John eleven thirty five. And anyhow, I sat down one day and just started sketching. And what I came up with was this just on a piece of regular 20-pound uh, paper. And I sketched it in pencil. And I made him with short hair, if you notice. Well, I took it to my church and got a lot of comments on it. And they said he would look better with long hair. So I went back and sketched him with long hair. Anyhow, we're going to do some sketching today. But I also done a little color pencil uh, setup of the actual finished painting. This is just done with color pencil. And I'm going to lay this over to the side there, and maybe you look over at it every once in a while and do something. But this is my interpretation. I don't know. Maybe nobody knows what Jesus looks like. But anyhow, we're going to do a little sketching first, and then we'll start painting. Come over to the board. All right. Now, everybody said I sh should have put long hair in there, so let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm just going to sketch it sort of rough because most of this will be covered up anyhow. And I'm sort of using the side of the pencil. And I could blend that all in with that. But it's not really necessary, like I say, because I'm going to uh, paint over all of that. But I'll just take the side of the pencil and sort of blend it in a little bit. Now everybody that <laughs> I spoke to said he would look better with long hair, and traditionally, that's the way most all painters paint him. Uh, I have painted him both ways, but this is just a front view portrait. And I'll probably put the hair running a little bit over the, the blouse there. Anyhow, that's just a quick sketch just to give you an idea of what it will look like. Now, let's start painting some, okay? First thing I'm going to do is get my little mixing palette up here. Now I want to get a, a, a brush, not too large a brush, but probably a flat brush, maybe about this size, and something a little smaller, about, I've got two or three here. Okay. Now I'm going to start mixing some paint. I'm going to make him sort of, uh, hopefully, uh, maybe a, what you call a suntan look, at least a little darker skin. Than, than normal because he was outside a whole lot. Now the first color I mixed up there will be a little darker color. And I'm taking a little raw cyan and a little Actually, this is a flesh color, but what I'm going to do is lighten it a whole lot because I want him to have good highlights. I 
I'm just mixing two colors here. We'll we'll start there and, and, and go right on. Now a lot of people start uh, with the dark colors. They put in the shadows first. I've done it both ways. Don't think it makes any difference one way or the other. You can do it any way you want to. This particular one I'm going to start I start with a little light color. I want to put some light color and I may even lighten it a little more than this. Just scrubbing a little color on there. And just putting a little light color, or this may not be the lightest color, but just a little of the light color in the highlighted spots. I'm almost using what I call a a dry brush effect. I don't have any oil or anything on the canvas. And if we need some later on, we can come back and uh, apply some. Now I've got a pretty good uh, bit of color on there. And this canvas, it, I, if you can notice it, it's got quite a bit of grain in it. So as I'm putting this on, you can see a lot of little grain effects. No problem, though. And the color won't be quite as smooth doing it with sort of a dry brush. I'm going to grab some smaller brushes. I'm going to come in with a little bit darker color. I'm not sure that that's dark enough. You know, I'll probably paint right over those teardrops. Now after I get this color on, I show you we're going to and there will be a shadow on both sides of his nose. And 
and grab a little more of that color. Now I may want to put a little uh, oil on the canvas to But I'm hoping that my oil paint will have enough oil in it that I can blend with it. This is just to give me some ideals. I'm going to grab a little more of that color. Now I will also add some uh, reddish color in these cheeks. So I'm beginning to build it up a little bit. And I'm pulling that darker color out into the lighter color and, and blending just a little bit. Just pushing that color around a little bit. Just blending the color around. You can't hardly tell what it's going to look like yet. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop working on that and I'm going to work a little bit and a lot of times I'll do the eyes first. So I'm going to start working on the eyes. All right. Now this probably will be a, more of a
stylized portrait, I guess you'd say. Okay, we'll rinse that out. This one, I guess, almost life size. I, I don't know, it could be a, a little larger, maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, let me find a little small brush here. I've got a bunch of them. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to rinse this one out. Lay him right there. Now the eyes, I'm going to swap that out. Make a mess there. No, I may have got way too much blue there. And I need to tone that down so I'll get a little paint gray. White, blue, and a little bit of the flesh color. A little more paint spray. It's still not exactly what I want. A little more. A little more. When doing portraits, the eyes are never white, and the teeth are never white. They appear white, but they're not. I'm going to have to get a little bit more of my paint gray here. A little bit more. Now they begin to look like it. And I'll probably put a little, little more flesh color in there. Now we're getting there. And 
And we'll come back and put highlights in there too. All right, let me get his eyelid in there. All right, we're getting there. Now I'm going to uh, go ahead with the eyes just a little bit more. I think I need to put a little red in his cheeks, which I will. Okay. Now his eyes probably were brown. Let's see if that color will do it.
I'm just keeping that color real thin so I can uh, So it'll flow good, in other words. I want to see a little darker. All right, we've got about a half a minute here. I hate to leave you, but I guess we're going to have to for today. Come back next week and we'll work some more on our painting. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye and God bless.